Well, I was out of the Bill Harris, the mad leader, <laughs> she explains that working so hard all day in the film studio, she is sometimes not in the perfectly good humor. <laughs> She, she snaps the hubby, <laughs> which is all wrong. <laughs> so as I say, you're all for us. <laughs> Even the rest of us are you. <laughs> Lord, tomorrow is the first of May. <laughs> That means the summertime is rushing toward us. And when hot weather gets here, it puts an added responsibility on the oil that's in your motor. For then the oil must do three things. It must help keep your motor clean, must keep it well lubricated, and must help carry off excess heat. And for years, Sunoco Oil has been doing all three of these things. Now Lowell Thomas says, so long until tomorrow. This program came to you New York. Lowell Thomas and the News. All have you a few more unforgettable words? About a new book called Diet or Die. Author, Mrs. Celeste Geyer, perhaps better known to millions of carnival fans as the one-time Dolly Dimples. Remember, the world's most beautiful fat lady? That was the billing Mrs. Geyer used when she weighed 555 pounds. Count them, 555 pounds. Now it's felt 122. She tells in her book how she did it, following the advice of a doctor who told her after a near-fatal uh, uh, heart attack to diet or die. The secret of effective weight loss, massive willpower, says Mrs. Geyer, adding that her own willpower was strengthened by the memory. <laughs> well, you know, she said that her... Um, Fat friends from Carnival Life died at an early age, later buried from the back of a truck. Those her own words. Why truck? Because of Mrs. Geyer, they were too big for a hearse. And so long until Monday, Lowell. Listen each evening, Monday through Friday at the same time, for the distinctive news reports of Lowell Thomas. Hershey chocolate with and without nuts. Fred Waring uh, was on hand to conduct a chorus of 1,800. Ben Hogan, given exhibition on how he drives a golf ball. And that was a special edition of our shopping present. A demonstration like uh, that famous... Ben Ogilvy, Barry Gall. <laughs> well, I won't putter around with that one. This is the CBS Radio Network. The latest accomplishment of Univac, telling a person what he ought to be reading. The electronic brain doing exactly that at the Seattle World's Fair. You fill out a card giving age, interests, background, and other personal information. The card is fed into the machine. Moments later, out comes the answer. For example, the 13-year-old boy said he'd like to know about rockets. He received a selective reading list. A 21-year-old girl said she was interested in sex. We'll skip that reply. Univac almost had a spasm. One of the librarians in charge of the electronic brain is Marcia Holcomb of Denton, Texas. Her ex- <laughs> uh -huh. And so long until tomorrow. This is Dick Noel reminding you to listen again Monday evening for Lowell Thomas and the News brought to you by Oldsmobile. <laughs> this program came to you from the CBS News. <laughs> <laughs>